hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel again and uh, we have covered many things like we scrapped some data from stack overflow we also made the api of it using django so now uh, we will make the same uh, application in flutter using that api and uh, the application which i'm just gonna show you but before that what i want you to uh, do is that our this api is uh, running on the local host so what i want i want it to connect to my local wi-fi so that you know i can uh, test it on my device as well so what i'll do i'll probably go to settings and then here in the settings what i'll do i'll check the uh, in the network and uh, in the advanced i can or oh, maybe here on the top as well i can see my ip address which i'm gonna copy from here and then um, what I'll do um, here uh, maybe I can go to the settings and then I can add this IP address to my allowed hosts okay so I'll add something like this and then when I'm running the server what I'll do I'll just run this server using this command run server and then I'll provide the uh, this particular address so that it can run the server on this particular address okay so it uh, it is asking for port number so i'll give you uh, i'll give it 8000 and you will see that this is now running on 8000 and with this particular address and now i can again uh, go to stack slash uh, api slash questions oh this was not the api okay i'm not still sure what was the api I guess it was uh, slash API slash stack slash questions yes so this is the uh, our URL basically for getting the questions now we will make a flutter application we will leave it like this and I'll open a new window and uh, so basically what I'm going to make let me just show you first so this is the kind of application we are going to make using our existing API which we made and this is the screenshot basically and uh, so let's start and we'll try to do this thing um, so first of all what I'll do I'll just uh, use flutter new project command in VS code and I can just say um, flutter stack app this is the name I'm giving and here somewhere here I can what I can do so I can add this to my dart project and mobile and then I have so many projects here so this is where uh, it will create my project and why I am doing it from scratch is because um, I just want to show you that uh, um, how to approach if you are viewing uh, the video for the first time if you are watching it like uh, if, if you are not aware of the flutter how it works then maybe you can start with this as well so we will run fast so we have the main.dart now now i'll go to prospect.yml what i'm gonna follow is uh, the block pattern which uses redux so this is kind of interesting so um let me just show you that there is a friend felix who has made this particular pattern block pattern library where it's it, he calls it flutter block which is a good state management library which uses block as well as redux so we're gonna use it uh, and uh, it, it, it's it's okay if you don't understand in the in this particular video we are gonna cover more um videos on this so in the pubspec.yml i'll uh, use my uh, pubspec assist which you can install from uh, vs code extension and here you can give package name so i'm gonna give flutter block so it should install flutter block for me so okay so it has added this flutter block as you can see uh, one more thing i'll add is that i'll add uh, block only block and it should add the block for me which is 0 0.12.0 and that's it i guess this is what we need okay one more thing we need is pk skeleton which is my library for giving the shimmering kind of effect so this is like this if it can add yes pk skeleton 0.0.2 so this is my library which i made and uh, we are good to go kind of yes so we'll go to main.dart what i'm gonna do here i'll i'm gonna delete first of all all of the things then i'm gonna import material fast and then i'm gonna make a method fast void main 
and then run app which will be uh, let's say my app okay and then I'm gonna make fast this stateless my app where it will be returning a material app and then in the home I can just say a home page okay so this home page is not here what I want you to do is that go to extension in VS code and uh, install this flutter files which can help you in generating the boilerplate for you flutter files by Igor Kravchenko so if I am pronouncing it correctly so um, a big shout out to him as well as Felix for making these amazing uh, packages and uh, libraries so this is this extension you can install by Igor and uh, then what it will help you with is that in the lib folder only I'll create uh, right click and you can see new block so from here uh, or you new big pack block big pack will include lot of files so we are gonna use this uh, big pack block and I'm gonna name it home let's say okay so it will create a folder ho home as well as few um, you can see few classes here as well so there is a home model this is expecting uh, equitable which we have not installed because right now we don't need it so I'm just uh, deleting that part of it and maybe let's let's install it for the time being so that we don't waste our time there so I'm gonna add dependency equitable okay so it is added as well now the error should go yeah now in main dot dart we need to import this so I'm gonna import just uh, this index dot dart and now we are I'm gonna show that you know I don't want to see the banner as well now um, in the home page you will see that uh, we already have this k fold and all that stuff so um, that's that's actually we don't need actually because what I want is something like this and this will not uh, work exactly so let me just run this app for the first time so that we can see what we are actually getting so um, it will not take so much time and this so let me just show you what what kind of uh, uh, files we got with this particular um, generator so there is a block pack block file where uh, it follows somewhere something like um, um, the redux approach with the block pattern as well then we have event where we will do all the actions and then we have model where we can specify any model if we have then we have home page where we can you know uh, this is related to our screen then we have our home provider where we can you know do some provider stuff and then we have a home repository which is again something which uh, probably if you want you can use uh, but uh, I'm gonna use just the provider then home screen which is a part of home page then the state which is how we manage states in uh, using redux probably you would say and now if I'll just go to this then you can say this is what we are getting right and uh, there was some in uh, loading indicator as well I'm sure now uh, what I want I just uh, want you to remove this part of code and just pass this uh, new home screen and uh, then it would be good now if I go back then this will look something like this which is horrible I'm definitely sure now what we will try to do is we'll try to make this UI first of all so um, leaving everything as there is a home block you can just uh, leave it for the time being let's go to the home screen and here we can see we have lot of stuff happening here so what I want I'll just go to this um, particular block builder and all that blah 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 so um, what I want to do here it is saying that if it is in the initial state then just show the circular uh, progress bar otherwise um, show something like an error if there is an error state uh, and if there is no error or not initial state then show some data so uh, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna um, first of all return a material okay so uh, what a material will do it will give us this uh, white screen or uh, material design basically then uh, the color I gonna specify or you can leave it like this then in the child um, I'm gonna have a column so and then it will take some children 
so I want this uh, particular um, column to have this container first of all and then um, I also want this list which is uh, not working as of now but this is what we want so this co uh, column will have a container which will have our uh, this uh, purple design and then we will have a text which will contain this all questions okay and then uh, we will have this list view so for that we will use expanded and uh, inside this we can have a list view okay so we will replace it with a list view not not a problem <clears throat> so this is something which which uh, what we will get so now this is uh, right now it's not working i guess this all question is also not visible or it, if it is visible then uh, we need to change its text color to color start black let's say now if i'll go oh we can still not show see it okay so this is what uh, we have as of now now uh, what i want you to do so this container is basically taking all the space or as of now maybe probably this one as well so uh, <clears throat> what we are going to do we are going to have a stack here where we will have another container so in this stack in the children we will have a container basically which have a height so we are gonna use media query dot context dot size dot height and we are gonna use 0.2 of the height let's say okay and because this is something around 0.2 or 0.3 it should be i guess this is much better yes and then uh, for the width i'm gonna use all the width okay so size dot width and then um, for the uh, decoration I'm gonna use a box decoration where I'll provide a gradient which will be a linear gradient so that I can get something like this and then it will take some list of colors and I already have the colors with me uh, so I'll, I'll open my snippet file uh, which is here and I'll copy these colors and then I can just hide it and now if I'll go back I'll just paste these colors and now you can say, see, see the same kind of stuff and then we have some border from the bottom so I'm gonna add these borders as well okay so um, basically this is the only the UI part which we will do here so then um, after this we are gonna add border radius and this will be border radius dot uh, circular or from only from uh, let's say bottom left then we can say radius dot circular it will be let's say 30 and then bottom right then again it will be around 30 okay and now if we will see it looks fine then we want a text which is hi welcome to stack overflow questions app and as well as the app bar that is why we use this stack so what I'm gonna do here after the container I'm gonna use an app bar where um, the background color let's make it transparent elevation make it zero and the title we can make a text let's say stack overflow and it looks like the same now uh, I want this text which is hi welcome to stack overflow questions app so after this app bar what I'm gonna use is um, a positioned widget which will help us with the position so from the top I'm gonna use media query and then again the height of it into 0. Point, let's say 1.5 and yes there is a problem obviously there should be a problem because it is returning null as of now and then from the left let's give it a margin of um, 20 and from right uh, we can give it again using media query we can use uh, the size dot width into 0 0.3 let's say and the, for the child we are going to use a text where we can say hi welcome to what what it's written stack overflow questions app so stack overflow questions app and we will also want to give it some style for sure so style textile and then we can add something like a color 
I'm gonna use colors dot white 70 and now if we will look it looks something like this which is fine now we just want to increase the font size a little bit so font size let's say 22 and it looks almost the same right so this is what we have done now this we have this all questions what one more thing I want to do with this column is that uh, so we have this column okay so this is the column and this is the stack and now what I want actually is that if I if I can give it some padding so then it will be much better yeah it looks oh that padding can be dangerous for the top part okay so for this particular tax let's give it some padding and uh, it is good yes now um, this text also can have first of all um, the font weight to be font weight dot bold okay and then uh, we can increase the font size obviously so font size let's make it 24 and it looks good okay now the only thing is left is the list so what I, I'm gonna do here in the um, expander rather than container I'm gonna use a list view dot builder and then we can have an item count let's make it 10 for the time being we will replace it for sure with the actual uh, things and then we can use the item builder where we can return a normal list style okay and this list style what it will do it will basically um, for the title let's say it has something let's say blah 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 so it will show something like this which is fine then it has for the leading it has this circle avatar where it has a radius let's say 25 and background color as colors dot blue gray okay and then for the child it is having a text let's say p so yeah this is looking good so it has a text let's say 2 we are also going to give it a foreground color let's say white it looks good it's fine and then um, what I believe is that we have in the subtitle we have uh, some chip so we can use a row here and for the children we can have some chip let's say we have this chip which have the color as blue purple so we can basically use this color which we copied uh, this one and then we can just uh, drop it like this and then for the label we can just say um, text let's say python and now if we'll see this is something like this and uh, then uh, we can if we can give it a text color so uh, there is a style text style and the color would be colors dot white okay so um, this is fine this is looking much better and then we have two views which will be let's say uh, after this subtitle or this title we can add something in the trailing and then um, we can have again something like a chip okay and then um, I can use the same thing from here I can paste it here so the background color would be this time blue gray and blue gray and uh, the label would be let's say two views and uh, yeah it's looking good and this shape we can achieve it using the shape which will be bevel rectangle border and let's say give it a border radius dot uh, circular to 10 and yes so this is fine so the UI part is almost complete here and it looks good and this list view is also working but the, uh, what we want is we want it to replace with the original data so what we need to do so let's understand what's happening actually so first of all you are in the main screen you will go to this home page where you have a block which you have just uh, in instantiate then you have a home screen where you have you are passing this home block that is fine then you have an init state where you are dispatching some event so for every event you will use this dispatch method of this block so um, if we will go to this uh, block then I'll just show you 
then in the build method we have this block builder so when whenever there will be a state change this block will builder will pass new data using this current state and we, then we will check what kind of state it is and uh, we will render the ui okay now uh, for every other action so this action is basically the events here so the dispatch will be called for every action like i want to load data i click the button or whatever wherever i want uh, to change the state okay and then if i'll go to the block then it has this uh, singleton uh, it's a singleton class as of now you can see you if you want you can change it then we have um, a, a method which is uh, basically it is returning a stream so which is which is making it compatible with block um, and then we have this uh, method or sub so this is the method map event to state which is kind of a reducer if you are familiar with redux where it takes an event and, and gives you an state so this is what is happening and then we have this event lot of events so right now we have load home event where we can load some data so definitely we can fetch some data from here and then we have this provider which i'm gonna just uh, use and then the repository which i'm gonna delete for the time being so that it's not that much confusing so let's delete this as well and then it has this method let's say get data um, so i'm gonna make it future okay and then it, it has this get data which will be returning some data in the future and uh, then so this is not something we have now and um, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete all of these okay and then here in the load home event because this is what we are calling uh, in the home screen if you can see in the init state so uh, going back to our api this is the api which we have now um, i'm gonna just uh, convert this to json and uh, i'm gonna take the raw data and i'm gonna paste it to json.dart which will give me the model and if i paste it then oh it has so many errors as of now why this there is so many errors because we are returning this uh, list of questions without any questions field so that is the problem so um what we can do in that case so basically it is returning us the questions like this where we have a list and uh, uh, we don't have any question right so what I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use um, any of this question for the first question, I'm gonna copy it and uh, let me just see where it is. Yeah, so this is the end and oh, if I can copy it properly. Okay, so this is where I can copy it till here. Okay, that's fine. And I'm gonna paste it till here and I'm gonna name it questions questions okay and then um, yeah then what happening here is that it is taking a list which is fine um, I'm just gonna do this then this and then this okay there's a problem again so what we missed here is this okay so we copied that we have that as well it looks fine to me as of now what we are missing um, so basically this is what we have so we have an ID with a question expand JavaScript this is what we have this looks good to me and we still have errors so let me just copy this we will go to jsonlint.com and we will paste it here so we can see what's happening um, okay so we have some parsing error here where okay so basically what we are doing we have to write it something like this and then this okay and then this it should be good yes so this is what uh, the JSON would be with us and then it will um, do this uh, question stuff for me now uh, I'm gonna just copy this dart code and then um, I'm gonna come to my this model where we have this home model I'm gonna just uh, replace it with this that is why I'm, I was saying that we don't not need the equitable as of now now I'm gonna just rename it 
let's say question data okay so this is our questions data now and uh, we are getting getting some list of questions from this question data now um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, have this uh, in the popspec.tml I'm gonna add this dependency which is HTTP so that uh, you know we can do some HTTP request in the future uh, this is not gonna uh, so basically I'm gonna use HTTP but uh, the pro the way by which I'm gonna use it in this video is not gonna be the same in next videos I'm, I'll make a separate class for this so in the um, we'll go to this provider where we are saying fetch some data so I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say import HTTP dot dot as HTTP and here I'm gonna make this method a sync I'm gonna return some question data let's say and there I will say I want a response from HTTP dot um, get okay and I'm gonna pass the URL so um, the URL is gonna be the same this one so um, if I, I'll just copy it then I'm I can just go here and I can paste it like this for the time being and it should return me the response okay now when I'll, I'll have the response then what I'll do I'll just say that you know I want response dot body so I'm gonna import here um, JSON uh, sorry dot convert and then um, I'm gonna say that I want the decoded JSON so um, what I can do in that case is that I can just say JSON decode I'm gonna provide it the body and then um, uh, what we can do um, we can have this question data I'm gonna make it a question data let's say QS or QD I'm gonna make it a new class and here we can say QD dot uh, questions is equal to um, or we can say QD dot questions is um, this decoded JSON we have as of now so um, oh we are doing some problem we, we have some problem okay so what I'm gonna say is that um, so this uh, decoded JSON let's let's see what we are getting first of all so first of all we will get something like this then we have definitely a list and uh, what we actually want it with this list so um, let's do one thing let's print this uh, decoded JSON first okay and then we will move forward because otherwise it will be a little bit confusing for you so uh, in the event what I'm doing I am just uh, I'm gonna call here this response is equal to await and I'm gonna use the home provider uh, home provider dot get data okay so um, now this is my app right now if I will do a hot restart then let's see what happens so it will go here there and yeah we we are now stuck here so let's see um, we have lot of data right so we have a list where we have this question then this question then this question then this question so this is the decoded JSON which we have now um, right now it is sh still showing the um, wrong data so this is the question data we have now um, what we can do in this case we can um, we can have this question data dot questions is equal to um, some blank list of questions let's say so something like this and now for uh, JSON in decoded JSON so we are gonna run a loop here and then uh, we gonna say that questions that add question from this session uh, so question from JSON so this is what we are gonna do so um, yeah this is looking fine to me it's not giving a map why 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 okay so uh, this should be something like this okay a list of maps should be there so we should uh, receive something like this and then 
okay we we are we missing something here i think that we are missing something um this is the json decoded uh, json which is returning us the object which should be list of map that is fine and uh, okay oh, i'm missing something okay so i don't know what's uh, the problem here because json dot encode okay so basically uh, i guess the name is the problem probably um let me just change it now this is not the problem so this is our decoded json which we just saw this was returning a list of maps and uh, what i want is that i want to run this uh, thing in a loop but it's not happening oh i missed something or something like that um okay so oh so this is the problem uh, perhaps uh, i'm not using the where keyword that was the only problem now we will have this uh, qd dot questions and then we will return this uh, qd okay so we will return this question data so um, we will get the question data to this um, um, home screen oh, sorry uh, the event here so i can say something like this question data and this will be the response now we are returning a new state which is this in home state so if i'll go to the state class there are a lot of states like for initial state we have an home state then in home state and then we can make let's say um, so if it it is on a home state then we can do something and uh, when we got data then we are saying it is in home state so here we can let's say we can say that uh, if we are in this state then we want this question data so let's say question data and we can import it and then um, we can create a constructor as well and here we can pass this question data and now um, this will expect this question data so we can pass it like this and that's it so this is what we can do right and now um, if I go to this uh, screen here then you can see we have this uh, unhome state error home state and uh, let's say if you want uh, me to use this um, current state uh, dot is uh, uh, let's say in home state then we will uh, draw this ui which we just created this material one or oh, and uh, with this list view so uh, this is what we can do uh, here and uh, yeah boom so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have this uh, this current state is gonna give me the question data as well so let's say i have this question data qd question data from current state dot uh, question data okay now what i'm gonna do from this question data i'm gonna um, make this list view so i'm gonna say question data dot questions dot length and here i'm gonna use this questions so question um question uh question question questions okay this is qs questions let's say and with the index so this is what i'm doing i'm i'm, I'm finding the uh, single question using the index and then what we are gonna use is we are gonna say questions questions dot um we have view count word count so i'm gonna use word count dot to string for the text i'm gonna use um questions dot uh, we have uh, views so oh sorry sorry uh, we have question so that is also fine for views we have questions dot uh, views and this is also good and now for the chip for the tag we can see what we can do now i'm gonna just uh, do a hot restart again and let's see if that works and it didn't work what's the problem let's try to see oh we got the question so you can see we have vote count zero 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 um zero zero minus one okay so uh minus one minus one and we can see a lot of questions right and the tags are showing python because we have 
the tags which we are coming to us is coming in string so um, we need to so this is kind of the data which we are getting if i'll just improve this view so this is the string so a list is coming in a string so that is weird so um what we can do for this is that we can go here and uh, maybe we can um <coughs> what we can do so um here from tags i can first of all identify the tags using questions data or or maybe i can um identify the tag here in the list view itself so um question data dot questions dot i we have the questions so here we can identify the tags using this questions questions and then dot tags now uh, what i will do i'll just uh, tags dot uh, if i can um replace all okay so I, i'll replace first of all this um, uh, what it takes from okay so i am going to replace this okay so this this will take two things so i am not going to replace what what i can do is basically um i can remove some something like that uh, um that first uh, this this square bracket so that would be much better i guess so tax dot uh, uh maybe substring okay um that will be bad but uh, okay let's take the substring of it so um it will give me another so tax would be tax is equal to substring so start index would be um so uh we want it from one and then uh we want to take the tax dot length minus one okay so it will give the string between these okay so javascript react js boot step react boot step and all and then what we can do we can then uh, let's say tag list we can then um, say tags dot split we can split them using this comma so then we will have a tag list okay list of strings and then for this chip what i can do for this children i'm going to use this chip ch uh, and uh, oh sorry so i'm going to use this chip from here and then i'm going to replace it using list uh, tax list so tax list okay if i can get yes dot map and then i'm going to map a t for tag and then i'm just going to copy it and then i can just say um dot to list yes and then uh, here in the text i can just say t dot t t basically only t and now if you will see you have angular 7 angular ionic mat lob uh, so so this is fine now what i'm going to do um, this row is taking lot of space so i'm going to wrap it uh, with the fitted box so that it does not look bad and so we have so many tags as you can see oh this is some weird uh, looking thing and uh, we can definitely improve it but uh, what i can do um to make it dense we can just say dense is equal to true and three line is also true so that it can be much better and this is looking little bit better and uh, what we want we want the box fit dot contain first of all and then um if i remove the fitted box now will it go to the next uh, line let's see i i guess it will go but it will still look weird because it is taking a lot of space and this is not a proper way of doing this but for the time being let's uh, do it like this or maybe um if you don't want to use this then uh, maybe you can use something like let's say if i remove this you can use wrap if that works and then you will see oh this looks much better this this is looking good and then um maybe uh you can also give spaces between them so 
that's your call so first for for the time being what i can do i can add the padding to these chips so child um this and then this and then for the padding what we are gonna use padding dot all five and then it is gonna give us this padding and it looks better than what we had earlier and because the screenshot in the screenshot you can see that was the um, static data but this is the dynamic data so this is how you can um, use these kind of uh, APIs using the state as well as the block pattern and uh, I know that it, it, might, it might not be very clear to you but uh, this is the first video so I have still uh, didn't describe any everything but in the future video I'll definitely describe all the things and uh, right now it's just for the start uh, and I wanted to show you so many things in one video so there's a plot problem we can basically um, explore everything here in the next video if you want uh, in, uh, let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video so if you did then uh, do the like button if you didn't then uh, maybe you can unlike the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are not the subscriber press the bell icon uh, to get the future updates and comment if you have any problem the source code will be available on github thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care